Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video here on Go of the Temple Gaming. Today we are going to be finishing Prince of Persia The Last Crown. So I hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys will enjoy this video. Please do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you do end up enjoying this video. And let's just get into it. So I do actually want to go and get all of the collectibles. Or at least the ones that uh we have used for for the final fight so i want to go and get the all the ingots i want to go and try and get all of the chests so i have looked up a guide to find all of those spots and to find all of those items and we're just gonna go around the map and get them i'm not gonna show you everything i'll just show you once i get to a spot so you guys know where to find it if you want to find it yourself and yeah let's start so once we are here we have to go down here to get one of the secret chests like that yeah okay so much free pedal okay cool Okay, so for this the secret chest, I have to do that. And you get a flower petal. Tree petal. Tree petal. For the secret chest at the pits of eternal sand, we have to go this way. And as you can tell, I have something in my inventory. That was that enemy. Which you can capture at the night temple. And then when you put it down right there, it opens the chest. And you can die afterwards. So, for this secret chest right here at the sunken harbor, you have to get your chakram right there to make a tic tac toe. And. I forgot. Finally. That gives us an amulet. Arch fortune. Slightly increase the number of time crystals dropped by defeated enemies. So for the next one we travel right there. And we have to go right here. have to cut all the grass oh my god before it grows back another tree battle okay so now we made it to the architect and we have to hit these symbols in order that the map shows so, for example, this one is 9, that one is 3, so I'm gonna figure it out which one is what, and then I will show you guys what happens. Okay, I figured out what the symbols are meant to be. That is 1, that is 2, that is 3, 4 is that, 5, let's see, till it comes... that six is 
Where is it? That. Seven. That. Eight. That, and that is nine. Now, what does this give Isn't us? Isn't that amazing? I was beginning to think there was no solution. Now, there was a point where I wondered that too. I understand that you think some of my designs might be peculiar? Yeah. I don't know that it matters if they are. Of course, maybe some of them were meant to kill someone. Truly my favorites, those. Oh, okay. What I'm trying to say is the city is full of marvels the world has never seen. I knew it. A gift waits for you in my workshop. Go on. Okay. Astronomical mechanism, a design for a mechanism to be placed on a mountain top. Mechanical model for a solar system, used to track the movements of planets and stars. Mathematical formula calculator, this contraption helps compute equa equations faster. Persian architects are experts in geometry, abstract patterns and mathematics. Okay. Official scroll, royal decree. The papyrus is yellowed with age, but the emblem seal of the loyal court is still clear. Part of the text read, appointments with Miriam, the indust industrious to the royal architect for King Darius the Great. My memories return. King Darius. 30 years since he's been gone. I hope I've honored his vision. I wonder, though, if my work will be forgotten. The king had a vision for the greatness of the Citadel to remain across the ages. To me, he appointed the right person. He'd be impressed with the technological marvels. You know, you've given me a great gift. By solving your puzzles? Yes, but not only that. The real gift you gave me is that you took the time to interact with my work. You've acknowledged my life's dedication. For that, I will tell you a secret resonating through the buildings. And uh, what is it telling you? The Samorum lives. Of course, otherwise we wouldn't be able to receive his fucking powers. The architect and the king, my dear friend Darius. I find this letter to express my utmost gratitude for your recent investment into my highly secret project. Your unwavering support and the creative liberty you allow me are invaluable to the realization of my visions. I am thrilled to inform you that I have discovered a groundbreaking technique to gather Athra, a vital resource for my next creation. This new method will revolutionize our understanding of time and space, allowing us to connect with the universe in unprehend unprecedented ways it is a feat that has never been witnessed before and i am humbled by the opportunity to bring such innovation to your majest majestic kingdom while i extend my deepest apologies for the unfortunate loss of lives among the workers on my latest endeavor i assure you that their sacrifice is but a small price to pay for the glory of your kingdom their names will forever be etched into in the annals of our history as martyrs to progress. Once again, I express my gratitude for your never-ending support and I pledge, pledge to continue striving for excellence in service of your glorious reign. Your friend and lawyer architect, Mariam. P.S. I neglected to convey the message regarding the completion of the castle's defense system as per your request. Rest assured, the set system will be fully operational within the upcoming two lunar cycles. Ex its formidable power is expected to effectively repel the raids of pirates and mercenary groups that persistently assail our ports. Okay. Ooh! Nice! Okay, so that gave us a lot of lore items and... More health. Okay, damn, Jesus, didn't have to scare me like that. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go on the hunt for some 
ingots. Okay, so for the first ingot, we had to make our way down here. And it's gonna be right there. Okay, for this next one, we have to go right here. And we have to go all the way to the right. So, I'll see you guys when I get there. The one who oh. called herself Queen of our Forest is gone. And her poison fades. Thanks to you. You are helping me. I have the chance to help in return. Times shattering caused rifts across our universe. There is still much to be healed. We long for all whack whack to be safe within the trees. Okay. The forest has regained its balance. Thanks to you, we are rid of this creature. She came from another world to dictate her laws to us, an opportunist. But Mount Calf is not saved. It remains a prison. She is not the perpetrator who disturbed the flow of time. There is something else. Something deeper. Okay. New amulet. Turning wind. Slightly increase the damage of dodging attack. Hmm. Okay, so this is a whole area that we haven't been through yet. So I'm just gonna take you guys with me. Scroll, blessed by the Simorg. Ahura Mazda, may you bless the Simorg so it its blessing shines upon us in return. One day the Simorg taking flight caused the leaves of so of so much tree to tremble. Casting forward a cascade of seeds from every plant known to existence. These seeds, born aloft on the winds of Vayuvata, the cosmic winds, and nourished by the tears of Tishtria, the sentinel rain, traverse the globe and planting themselves to sprout into, multiple, into a multitude of plants, becoming the very essence of botanical life that had ever graced the earth. These ethereal seeds held the power to cure all affliction would plague humankind. With a wingspan covering vast distances, the Simurgh assumes the form of a divine bird, executing an immense presence capable of hoisting even an elephant into the heavens. Its feathers shimmer with a hue of burnished copper, a sight to behold in the realms of mortals. This god possesses teeth and harbors an enduring hostility towards the serpent of the earth. Ashdaha. It finds comfort where waters flow abundantly, choosing such refuge as its natural home. The Simurgh has witnessed the annihilation of the world thrice over. Its existence has spanned eons, granting it unparalleled wisdom acquired throughout the ages. This deity assumes the sacred role of purifying the lands and waters it encounters, serving as a vital nexus. Merging the earthly realm with the celestial skies, undertaking the sacred duty of an emiss emissary. As an omen of divine acceptance, the Simurgh sometimes manifests itself as a bird perched upon the heads and or shoulders of chosen monarchs. This revered symbol affirms the acknowledgement of Ormuz, the supreme deity, signifying the chosen individual's sacred representation upon the terrestrial realm. Okay. You know what? Let's not. Wow. 
lighthouse. Okay. See right there. Note pinned to a battered talisman. Since time imm immemorial, the caress of the evening wind has carried hopes and memories. Now, right here, let it carry you. Well, I didn't meant to go here, but apparently if you fall down above right there, you drop down here. How do I... How do I go further down? Right here? sucks though. Oh, there's a teleporter right there. Never mind, it doesn't suck that badly. Is there anything else? I don't think so. Worst part is, is that we have to travel all the way back. Okay, we're back. Now let's see. I think it's supposed to be here somewhere. Yes, it is. Okay, so 
So, we have to go right here. Air bomb to break that wall. This is it. Nice. Slightly decrease the duration of shock effect. Okay, so now we actually have enough. Yeah. To upgrade our blade. So. I think we should do that. And then we can go. Welcome. Then we can go to. Well, what I believe is the final boss and the end of the game. Okay. So. I'm really curious to see how this story is going to end. Okay, dude. Guardians! 
dabei. Are you kidding me? Come on now. Okay, we made it up here. I do admire you, Sargon. You don't need Artaban or Nade's help to get here. So the summit of Mount Carf is where it will all play out. Considering what Varum is after, he should be in the Hall of Divination by now. I must stop him before he absorbs the heart of the Simorg. And that power in the wrong hands could destroy Persia. The Simorg's feathers, I have some of them. I know they don't belong to someone like me. Bloodline is not everything. It's your actions that matter. And look how Varum changed. You must defeat him, Sargon. I'll try to save him first. It may be the last time we meet. Sargon, bravery is what makes you immortal. The fate of Persia depends on you. Well, not a nice way to put pressure on it, I guess. Thanks, guys. Okay. There's more here. Interesting. Let's see. Okay, no, I am just gonna keep running. Fucking god. That did not even touch him.
Okay. Jesus. Oh my fucking god! Uh way okay at least there is a tree right here that's good I feel like this is the moment to check this but after search attack, after build up, maybe, maybe I should try this one. Oh, and maybe change the outdoor surges like that my level one and level two that does not look good Thora. my father gave you the key to the palace didn't he then you can enter the hall of divination ready to face me the older me who has lost control You've seen your older self. I just know he's there. And I don't want to be like him. Sargon. You're still my friend, are you? There has to be a way to save him. I'll find a way. I didn't give up on you. And I won't give up on him. Okay. Yes. I think so. I don't know. I've lost too much to trust the sea world again. I can't believe in such a cruel god anymore. The heart of the Simorg. With our powers combined as one, imagine all the good we could do for humankind. Or evil. Tharam, no human is meant to wield such power. I am no mere mortal. I am the first immortal. Sargon, you must understand. The Samorg's powers showed me the future. I saw our kingdom engulfed in flames. Our people suffering for nothing. Persia vanishing. Corrupted from within. We can stop it, Sargon. We can build a world free of deceit, lies, Human weaknesses. Help me save Persia. Give me your powers. No, thank you. Hmm. 
No. Oh, I'm not ready for this. I am time and space. I am creation. And I will create a new, perfect empire. Baron! Baron, no! You should have joined me instead, Sargon. Oh, this can be good. left. No immortals. No one. Only the void remains. Mighty Simorg, you were the one gifting me life time and time again. Why did you choose me rather than the others? I'm not sure I understand. They are always with me. I can't defeat them. What if it's too late? I don't exist anymore. I couldn't stop Varen. still save him. Crossroads of time. Map unavailable. Okay. That Varum. Okay then. Nice outfit. 
Nice luck, but... Be the first to witness the birth of a new world, Saga. Varum, time and space. Varum, you are mistaken. The world you have in mind cannot exist. I am the one and only, the creator. A new world is not up for debate. It manifests itself for all. Oh, here we go. There has to be a face too. Of course. You cannot defeat a god, Saga. I can't join you either. Gonna do it again. You are resisting the inevitable. No, this is my power. Oh my fucking god. This is the only way. <laughs> yeah, that was never gonna happen first try. Okay. 
I don't know how to... Defeat a god, Sargon. I can't join you either. I, am equal to god. I don't know how to deal with that. The efforts I don't know This is the only way. Oh my god.
Okay, I got that one at least. Oh my god. Lost. I don't know what's happening. Oh, my God. This still is in the fucking end. One more round, right? We're not. Learn to say that I will escape. True warrior. It 
It's no weapon. It's your actions that matter. Then I wish to be where we mortals are friends again. actually did it holy shit look at us you you were right Sargon <laughs> the smog's powers were never ours It is the end. That was happening. Not you aren't done yet. Here is Prince Hassan. The immortals have succeeded. What's going on? History will remember you. May our paths cross again. Your Majesty. Not anymore. Sargon, you brought back the Simorg, a triumph worthy of a king. I need no praise. My blades served the crown, but in Mount Kaf, they were bloodied with the truth. Oruk, Menelaus, Rajin. Anahita, Varum, all dead now. A small price to pay to secure my bloodline. Shut up. Thirty years ago, King Darius was murdered. No. 
I'll let you confess that story. Is how gone? Oh, don't go running after him now. Sargon! Oh, still more. It just keeps on going and going and going. Wait, is that supposed to be Simmer? <gasps> it was the old man! I told you there was something about that man. I knew it! I fucking knew it! My fucking god. That was an amazing game. Oh my god. Still more. Hey, Sargon. Don't worry. I'll take good care of Varum. Oh, young Varum is still there. Oh, that's great. What are we going to do then? Oh. Many thanks for playing. You can load your save file to continue your exploration of Mount Kof and complete unresolved mysteries. I am definitely going to do that. Well, that is it for Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. I got to admit that I did not have that high of expectations when I first saw the announcement for the game. You never know with games like this. I didn't expect there really to be a story, but the game was so incredibly good. I really like the traversal. I really like the level design. I love the combat. It's so satisfying to just whack around with your blades and throw in an arrow here and there. And the story was beautiful. It was a little hard to follow here and there and I'm definitely going to play it again because that would make it a lot easier for me to keep up with everything that's going on because I was just in shock half of the time that I was playing because I had never seen what happens. So this was a great experience. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you did enjoy the video. And if you want to see more of my content, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.